Today's home is just stunningly beautiful in a very exclusive country club right here in Central Florida. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules. And today's episode is sponsored by Nick Long of AmeriFirst Home Mortgages and MLS ID 398963. And guys, today I have a beautiful home to show you. And wait till you hear the price, which I'm going to tell you a little bit later. It's four bedrooms, three and a half bathroom with a loft space and a two car garage. The first thing you're going to notice is that you have these beautiful pavers up front. Now, this is one of the elevation that they have this beautiful stone right over here. As you could see, it does have two different elevations one is without the stone uh, one is without the stone and the other one is uh, just a little bit more coastal with the shutters and everything so let's go around and have a look at the rest of this beautiful model so I like that you get this pavers all the way at the front and then you also going to get the pavers at the back so as I walk in you have this little covered area or at least a slightly covered area which is really nice because you know these days we get a lot of packages and it kind of rains a lot so it's really nice that it's kind of tucked way right there so that's a good thing but the other thing that I wanted to mention is that your roof over here is actually tiled and the good thing about the tile roof is that they are actually good for about 45 to 50 years as compared to architectural shingles which are probably good for about 20 to 25 or maybe 30 years depending upon how well you keep so let's go in and check the rest of this beautiful model out Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful builder model, guys. Now, I'm in a very exclusive community, which is just located about 30 to 45 minutes to pretty much everything that Central Florida has to offer. It's a 24 hour guard gated community. This model, as it sits, is about four bedrooms, three and a half bathroom with a loft space. It's 2,800 with the master bedroom downstairs. The base price of this house is about 714,990. And if you want to build a replica of this model exactly the way it is, with all the structural upgrade which I'm going to point out and it's going to cost you about close to $805,000 or so so I'm going to point those out uh, but guys if you are looking to buy a house anywhere in Central Florida this is a great resource or in Tampa now this is a great resource press that thumbs up button show us some love and subscribe to our channel and if you are not sure about which place to live in check out Orlando Living with D that's where I go a lot more deeper into the community we talk about you know the wife's favorite the shopping my favorite the dining the school the hospitals how far it is from the major airport everything that you need to know to make that decision and if you are relocating that's a really good resource so make sure to check out on YouTube uh, Orlando Living with D so as I walk in you're going to notice that you have this eight foot door which is actually a standard with the builder the ceiling height on the first floor is about 10 foot so as I walk in these tiles are actually upgraded so as you would see, however, the baseboard that you see with a little bit of crown molding right there is actually a standard feature. So as I walk in, you have this door which leads to your two car garage. So let me go in and show you. Uh, they just finished this model and it's a really nice model for the price point and the community. It's a block construction as you can see and it also has the tankless water heater, which is good because usually sometimes when they have the older, uh, water heater it's like the big tank ones which you probably have seen in some of my videos they're kind of sitting in the corner with a little pole especially with Pulte homes and Lennar homes it kind of takes a little bit of space so that is something that that you want to keep that in mind so you have this right over here and then as I walk out you have this nice hallway with the extra lights that you see over there now this is a standard feature however some houses has a long foyer and then you have multiple lights, but they only give you one or two. And I would highly suggest that get extra lights whenever you could. And I'm gonna mention that to you um, as I show you the rest of the house so that you know. And if you haven't watched my video, make sure to check out in the playlist, the do's and don'ts of building a brand new home because I not only talk about it, but I actually show you so you can see the difference. The other thing that I like about this house is it kind of angles a little bit. You know how you have some houses, you open the front door and then you can see all throughout. So I like that it has a little bit of angle. It's a beautiful day to 
shoot and look how bright this is. Now, this is in a community where the HOA is about 297. However, it's 24 hour guard gated. It does um, include your cable and internet. So that is included. So that's pretty good. However, to buy in this community, you also have to buy either a club membership or a sports membership. And the price is very, if you buy a sports membership, it's about 800 some odd dollars, which include unlimited golf. And if you buy the regular one, which is about $475, and both of those membership include a $75 restaurant credit per month that you could actually use. In your basic 297, you are actually not going to get the amenities, which they have plenty of it. The clubhouse is just absolutely beautiful. They have some picture perfect weddings. If you haven't watched some of the videos for this Claremont Mount Verde area, make sure to check out in the uh, playlist. So they have a lot of stuff there. You have the clay, um, um, they have the clay lawn tennis courts, you have the basketball, you have 24 hour gym, you have the pool, the sauna, um, the in-house restaurant. So there is a lot and this is one of my favorite communities because of the location. You're not very far from everything, but you're also not very close to everything because I mean like we are the Disney capital of the world. I'm sure we get tourists all day long. So that is really nice and I like you a little bit further away. So you have the half a bathroom over here, you know, nothing extraordinary, but I do like that they have this window. Now this actually is an upgrade. Now granite is going to be your standard feature with the builder. However, the upgrades that you see are in return to the faucet handles, the, the, the downers that you see over here, but this is a good amount of space and it's right underneath the staircase. Well, so it's kind of utilized really well. And then as I go in, the house kind of opens up, but the good thing is as soon as you go in, this is where you have the master bedroom. So let me go ahead and take you there. So you walk into this, this is, I, I actually like something like this, maybe not necessarily this shape, but I like that you have a little cavity here to maybe put a picture of your family or whatever you want. It's a nice little decorative area that here. So let's have a look at the master bedroom. Now I usually stand in the corners so that you can get an idea of how deep the room is, so pretty good size. The extra light, as you see here, is a, uh, is an um, actually a structural option, which you have to pay a little bit more. So you have the extra light there, but you have this nice big window. The lot size for this community and for this kind of uh, property is 40 by 140. So it's very deep. So you will have enough room to build a pool or as you have it in this builder model, they're just using it an outdoor space. So let's walk into the master bathroom. Now you do get the tub, which is a standard feature. The upgrade is in regards to the quality of the tub that you see. These three windows are a standard feature. However, this is the setting you will get. The upgrade is in terms of the cords, the handles, the downers and then also the frameless uh, shower that you see right here. I love that they have this upgraded flooring. You have the tiles all the way up, rain shower, which is an included feature, and then you have this little niche. I cannot tell you, this is really good because I've tried one of those uh, things that you get, especially on our tub, uh, walk-in shower tub combination, those little bar that kind of uh, sticks out. This is better, it's kind of out of the way, but it's easy. Put in the comment below what you think. And then this is where you have your water closet. Of course, the upgrades are in terms of the tile, but this is the space you have the door. So this is really nice. And most of the homes with this builder have a door for the bathroom. It just depends upon the plan. So when you go above a certain price point, this becomes a standard feature. However, on the smaller price point I have seen where it's just a walk-in bathroom with, the, with no door for the water closet. So that is just something to keep that in mind. Now guys, I want to talk about the, the market in just a moment because I want to tell you as boots on the ground of what is going on. But let me go ahead and show you the master closet. And I love that because it is pretty decent size, but I love that you have this little cavity right there and uh, as much as I want to say, this is my space, you guys got the point. If you've been watching my video, you know exactly what I'm going to say. Because my wife has been lately watching some of my videos and she's like, uh, you're making me famous or actually infamous rather uh, with uh, whatever. And I'm like, this is true. And a true story, I had a client um, who texted me and said, send me a picture of your closet. And I'm like, what? 
he like, I send him the picture of the closet. Maybe one day I will post a picture of the closet so you can see how much space I have. But that's a story for another day. So you have this nice uh, staircase leading up to your loft and all the secondary bedrooms, which I'll get to in just a moment. But as I walk in, again, you have this little angle and look at this space, voila. Now you have that light right there in the middle where you see this little chandelier but this extra lights is going to be a structural upgrade or, or a design upgrade rather than a structural upgrade. The upgrade is also in sense of the gourmet kitchen that you have, and then it's a gas community. The upgrade is in terms of the cost that you see. So this is the standard size. However, this is an upgraded uh, sink that you see with a nice waterfall. So this is not what you are going to have. You're just gonna get the normal stuff. And then of course the upgrade is in terms of the backsplash that you see and also the kitchen aid appliances. You do get a microwave, you do get a dishwasher and your stove range right there. This is the, the gourmet option, so that's an upgrade. And then you do not get the refrigerator, washer, or dryer. However, in terms of the market and incentives, they're gonna pay all your closing costs, not prepaid. Now, every time you close on a house, you're gonna have closing costs related to the cost of getting the loan, and you're gonna have prepaid. So some builders, or some rather, some lenders would want you to pay for a year's um, insurance upfront, pay escrow for three or four months of taxes upfront, pay the HOA upfront. Those are called prepaids, and builder won't pay that because that's just the cost of buying a home that you have to pay. So it's not a cost of getting a loan. Plus you get $20,000 in option, now, as I mentioned, the base price is 714. That actually does include, uh, or actually 715, it does include the gourmet kitchen, but not the upgraded appliances that you see. It also includes one of the features that I actually talked to, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, but it also includes the, the, the staircase that you see, the, the metal staircase in, in the sense, you know, you have this nice railing. It does include that. So this is your closet, um, not a closet, but this is your pantry space. Not a really big one, but nevertheless quite comfortable because you have a lot of space right there. And then right across from it, is your dining area, which I like because it's a semi-private dining area, kind of tucked away, nice window on that side, another nice window here, bringing in a lot of light. And this is where you have this main. Now, I wouldn't suggest to get extra lights in that area as such, but definitely in your living. But if you have the funds for it and you are willing to do that, then that's not a bad idea. I am definitely going to suggest that you get the extra light in a room, which actually master bedroom, definitely. I would suggest get it in the loft area and also get it in a room that you are going to use as a home office because now we work a lot through house. So this is one of the things that I wanted to talk about. You have these double doors, it opens up. In this specific model, they actually don't hide behind the door. And I was just talking to the sales agent, the, the, the inventory homes that they have, and by the way, you cannot build this from scratch because they're already there um, and they already got the permit and stuff, but you can go to the design center and then you can build. So if you want to build something like this, it's going to be probably 800, 805,000. If you want a pool, depending upon what kind of pool, you're probably looking at about 900 to 950,000. As a matter of fact, they have a very good option uh, for a home in this community, which will be done very soon. So if you need more info, please make sure to comment below, text us, email us, just reach out to us. But this is where I want to show you they have this extra light, but what I want to point out is this actually is actually an upgrade because by code, you just need to have an electric outlet every six feet. What they did is they put this up here because it obviously makes it very convenient. You just have to pay for the extra outlet right there, but this is the standard height where you can have your TV right there. So let me go ahead outside and show you this beautiful backyard. Of course, pavers is a standard feature. You are going to get that. But here's what I'm talking about. You have the gas stuff here. You have the electric um, connections right there. And the, this is something if you do plan on getting a summer kitchen, you want to do that. And the homes that they have already have that feature in there. The other thing I want to point out is, do you see your backyard? It's a pretty good size. I did another model and you probably can make out, this was the model that I did a couple of months ago, a very affordable model. They actually use that as a pool area but you can see that you have enough room 
to be able to do that. Now in this community, you also have homes in on the lake and you also have homes on the preserve where the lot sizes are a lot more bigger. The lot sizes are almost close to like uh, about an acre or so. So as I walk, take you back in, what I was actually mentioning to you before is that this actually will hide behind this wall, thereby opening the whole place up. The other thing that I wanted to also point out is that the way you see the, the landscape package right here, that's actually going to be included. So you're going to have, instead of having the whole yard with the grass, you're going to have something like this. So that, you know, I, I think this is really nice because, uh, you know, uh, probably if you have kids that they don't need to run around at the back, then this is a really nice area. You have that little sitting area right there or just have this as a whole backyard with grass so that is another thing that you could do so let's go upstairs and let's check but let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about the market guys market is still very strong uh, it's not as crazy as it has been um, for the last uh, couple of months uh, it's not like the waitlist game that we were playing uh, it's not crazy escalation clauses that builder has so a lot of things are changing what I am not seeing with builders right now is that the prices are coming down. However, the incentives are going up. So you will get more incentives and they will buy down the rate. I know of some builders, they'll buy the rate down to about 4.9. Some will do like a arm, which is another option that I've mentioned in other, in some of my other videos. So let's go upstairs and let me show you the rest of this. Now this railing is obviously an upgrade but in the new in the homes that they already have is actually an upgraded feature um, included and then you have these wood risers which obviously is a, a design center option that you have to pay extra so let's go upstairs As I go upstairs, what I want to point out is that you have a nine foot ceiling on the second floor, which is a standard feature. And then you have this loft area with so many windows bringing in so much light. And look at this, you have the extra lights right there. This is something that I always suggest, especially if you're going to work and use the loft area as an office space or something. And then you have the other bedrooms and the laundry upstairs. You have this little closet area right here. So it's really nice, you know, you have a lot of space. Like if you, if you can also like, I have had some clients buy those heavy curtains that they kind of pull up and then they use this as a theater area. So that is something, just an idea for you to do. And then they have all the equipment in the closet. So let's go in and check out the first secondary. Now again, this is pretty much similar size as the master bedroom. I want to be like, you have a really decent sized bed, but you have a lot of space. But what I love is a lot of windows. I mean, like windows is something that I absolutely love, bringing in a lot of natural light. Like, as you can see, you do not have any extra lights right here. And this is what I'm talking about, you know, you don't really have to have extra lights in every single room, but I would definitely suggest, instead of having just one of this, probably with some builders, you can get an option to get like extra two, which is good enough, Maybe master is a big room, so you do want to get uh, more light. So that is something that I'll suggest. So a nice walk-in closet. The carpet definitely is an upgrade um, in, in this house, but that is something that you can always do. The standard one that they have is also good. If you are looking to maybe change the carpet into tile or wood floors or something, um, but you don't have the budget to do now, then I am going to suggest, let it be what it is. And maybe once it runs its course in one or two years, change it at that time because you're not going to get much credit unless you have the budget to be able to do that because if you say hey don't put this carpet i'm going to put the flooring you probably could do that with the builder it's going to be much more easier and faster but if you're kind of uh, uh, budget conscious and you don't have the money then it's probably good let it run its course and then maybe change it yourself so let's go into the bathroom so it's a suite by itself this is one of the granite which is actually an upgrade that you get uh, with the undermount sink. Undermount sink is a normal feature. However, the upgrade is then the type of granite that you see with the downers. And then you have the frameless walk-in shower with really nice, simple subway tile all the way through. Now, if you don't choose the upgrade, as you see on the tiles, you're gonna get a 17 by 17 regular tile. They have like three different options, just like most builders do. And then as I go around, they're gonna be my laundry area. But what I like is like just, just this area, like you can pretty much see the whole of your 
a family living area right there. You get a good view, nice chandelier. You have the extra lights. And then as I go over here, this is going to be your laundry area. Now, if you don't have an upgrade, you're not gonna have any of this. So you're not gonna have the, the, the fold station, the wash station. You're not gonna have these upper cabinets with the crown molding. So this is something you can always do later on. One thing that I will suggest is if you do plan on putting a wash station, maybe you can ask them to have the stub out there, which you can always do later. So that is something to keep in mind. I'm mean, like, look at the color of the tile. Like, I'm not a big fan, uh, fan of something like this, but you know, it kind of looks neat. It kind of goes with the blend of, uh, of the downers that you see over here. And then as I go around, you have the other two bedrooms. So let's go ahead and have a look at the very first one. So you have this really nice size bedroom with two big windows looking at your backyard. Again, very comfortable size. So the good thing about this house is that when it comes to the closet space, you don't have one of those sliding doors or the one that falls on you. You have the handle and just one door and pretty decent size, you know. It's pretty much similar because with most of the house, you're gonna get those skinny ones that kind of run its course throughout the wall or something like this. You know, what I will definitely do and suggest, which I did it at my own personal house is, you know, maybe, get custom closet because that will give you so much space. And then right from there, you also have another, like a towel or a linen closet right there, giving you a lot of space. And then this is the secondary bathroom. Of course, the upgrade is in terms of the tile. However, this transom is a standard feature. Tile goes all the way up, a big bonus in terms of an upgrade. That is not very expensive to do. And there's only one builder in all of Central Florida that gives you the tiles all the way up as a standard feature. And that is one of my favorite builder called Jones Home. If you haven't seen some of their homes, uh, you know, check out the St. Cloud because that's where they're primarily doing. They do a fantastic job. Of course, the upgrade is the tile. And then I go again, the upgrade is in that. Now, when I was talking to the agent and he told me you can get all of this for pretty much 800 and something, it was like, wow. One thing, please keep in mind that when you live in a community as beautiful as this, you are paying for the lifestyle that it comes with. It's not the house as much as the expenses with the house. So you have 297 HOA and then you have another 475. And if you get the sports membership, then it is probably 800 and some odd dollars. So if you add that 800 to 297, it's 1100 with unlimited golfing and, and uh, with a $75 credit, uh, internet included, or you, on the lower side, you're at about 775, 780, if you add just the 475. So just keep those things in mind. Let's have a look at the last bedroom of this house. And again, all this house, now I always say guys, it's not the square footage. What matters is how the house is laid out. And look at this. This is a 2,801 square foot house laid out really well. All the rooms are pretty good size. It's a gas community, 24 hour guard gated. So it's a really nice house. As long as you understand that you're in a very exclusive, you're also very close to some of the top schools right here located in this part of Central Florida. Again, our little walk-in closet right here, which is a little bit deeper, you have more space. It kind of goes a little bit in. So let me know what your thoughts are. Now guys, please keep in mind when you call us, you're gonna be talking to one of our ISAs. Their whole job is to collect the information, ask you for your name, email, the best number to reach you, the best time to get, uh, get an agent call you. And they will set you up on a Zoom call where what we not only do is we, we wanna do a face-to-face -face, uh, talk with you. We wanna show you on the back and what areas you're looking so we can show you the map. So they're going to connect you either with me or somebody from my team. And that's gonna go through the process. We'll let you know what is going on. And we have agents that are experts in different areas. So we're gonna be able to, if you're looking in Davenport, we have somebody that knows that area like a back of our hand and, and they're gonna be able to connect you or if you are working with me, then I will let you know what works. So we will work together and their job is to just get the information, set up the appointment so that we can give you the time you need. So when you do come out and look, you're looking at as you were already here because we will do all the legwork. Uh, we don't believe in like showing you 50 homes that doesn't fit your uh, budget or what you are looking for. We want to narrow it down to what exactly you are looking for, show you what is available in your budget, take you around and show all the options that we possibly could 
so that you can make a decision rather than looking at so many homes and getting confused. Well, let us know your thoughts on it. We appreciate you watching our video. And if you are on the internet filling out forms and stuff, let them know that you have an agent. Put our information there. We will be happy to help you. Until the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.